a photo showing a French soldier in Mali who appears to be glorifying war by wearing a death's head scarf over his face, in a manner reminiscent of a character from the video shooting game Call of Duty, has gone viral in the online community. The photo came out over the weekend and is already threatening to damage France's reputation as liberators in Mali as troops continue their advance into territories held by Islamist rebels, which have controlled a Texas-sized slice of the country since last April. A spokesperson for the General Defense Staff, Colonel Thierry Burkard, has called the soldiers' behavior unacceptable and has promised he will be identified and sanctioned. This incident has touched on a raw nerve for President François Hollande, who has already had to defend his decision to intervene in Mali, and in the wake of controversies such as Abu Ghraib prison, in which photos were leaked of U.S. soldiers apparently abusing detainees in Iraq, whilst ostensibly on the mission to liberate and bring democracy to the country. Analysts have already commented on Hollande shying away from using the word Islamist to describe the Saharan rebels, preferring instead the more general term of terrorist as less politically sensitive to France's estimated 6 million Muslims. But the incident also risks aggravating the debate surrounding warlike video games and their potential to incite violence. This comes only a month after 20 children and 6 adults were killed in a shooting at an American school, which sparked a national polemic over gun control and the role of cinema and video games in the tragedy. Episodes of the warlike game series Call of Duty are set in both factual and fictional conflicts. In the second season, Modern Warfare, the player takes on the roles of British or American soldiers in order to kill off members of an ultra-nationalist terror organization in locations across the Middle East and Russia. France will be on double alert to ensure that more such cases do not emerge, which may jeopardize the reputation of Operation Serval as an ultimately humanitarian mission.